this practice exercise is just going to get us used to working in Maya using the interface a little bit we're going to model something really basic and it's going to be a bookshelf we're going to modify a cube into a bookshelf we're going to use the scale move tool possibly the rotate tool and we're going to play around in the channel box and manipulate some of the settings as well as in the attribute editor now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a cube I just click on the cube once under the modeling tab under poly modeling and when I click on it it's just going to create a cube now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to press R and then holding shift and middle mouse button click I'm going to sort of scale this out to what approximately size of a bookshelf that I think will work and I'm gonna do this on all three axes and I'm gonna just start creating the depth that I need for each shelf and I'm gonna make this three different shelves pretty simple so I think that's a pretty fair size for a bookshelf now I'm gonna go ahead and just shift it up and if I switch by pressing spacebar and I switch into my side view I'm going to follow this origin here as 0, 0, 0 on the height although it's translate Y 4.564 I just want to go ahead and make sure that I've got this directly on that line and that's just for visual representation excuse me to visualize what it looks like on a floor so the first thing I'm going to do, we're going to use this grid as a visual representation of our floor. And then for this, I'm going to just go ahead and click on my attribute editor. Now, if it's not here in your side panel bar here, go over here and show hide attribute editor. It's this button right here. So you can click it, it'll turn on. Now, from here, I'm going to go to my polycube one. and at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my subdivisions to 10 10 and I think that's about all I need now from this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to create shells and I'm gonna hold right click I'm gonna to go to face mode I'm gonna go ahead and hover over my faces. I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna go ahead and just click ahead in each one of these little squares. And these are going to be my shells. So just go ahead and hold shift and click on each one of these little cubes you see here. and what I'm going to do from this point is in my poly modeling over here there's going to be extrude or under is it edit mesh or mesh it's edit mesh so in my edit mesh we can do extrude it actually looks like it has a keyboard shortcut now control E which is pretty neat not something that I knew before and over here I could just use the keyboard shortcut or not keyboard shortcut the tab shortcut if you will and just click extrude so those are two places where you can find it I'm going to press W I'm not gonna use this information in here you have different information in this little pop-up window and we don't need to worry about any of it if you want to play around with the settings you can see what they do but for this instance because we're keeping it as simple as possible I'm just gonna press W for my move tool that should get rid of that pop-up window if it the window stays there on your computer for whatever reason just ignore it press W and then hold shift middle mouse button click and we're gonna go ahead and drag those in I'm gonna switch my viewport by pressing spacebar and I'm going to tap my spacebar over here now the first thing we're going to learn about different ways to view in the viewport is four is wireframe four on your keyboard wireframe four is 
the keyboard shortcut for wireframe. I believe it's right here for wireframe in the viewport tab and 4 is wireframe, 5 is shaded, 6 is shaded with texture maps if we had texture maps and what's this one? Wireframe on shaded. We can do wireframe on shaded and that should if I select off show the wireframe and it didn't work don't worry about it at the moment and apparently tapping B on and off uh, turns on our soft select tool we don't need to worry about that so just ignore that I had to accidentally click B on the keyboard now I'm gonna undo a couple ways back until I have my faces selected again. I'm going to go ahead and do four, five, six. Those are the only ones we need to worry about right now. Seven is shaded display with texture maps on with lighting. But because we don't have any lighting, it's black. There's no lights in this scene, so we can't see it. So we're going to stick with four or five are the only ones that we need to really be worried about right now. But for now, I'm going to stick with five in this viewport and I'm going to stick with four in this viewport. Now the reason that I'm doing it this way is so when I bring in the depth of my shift middle mouse button click, my bookshelves, I can go ahead and bring it all the way back like so and then I've got my little bookshelf. Now that's really there all is to it for this little practice exercise. We're not going to take this any further but that's all I'm looking for as a submission. Now, just because I went into what wireframe on shaded is, I don't know why it wasn't working in this little tab button correctly, but if I go in here and I do wireframe on shaded, this is what it should look like. And you'll see the wireframe of the model on the mesh. For whatever reason, it didn't work in this tab here. So maybe I did something wrong but this is the correct way the way it's always going to work which is why I will always show you the long way to do things in Maya because sometimes these little buttons they just don't work the way you want them to and they typically always work when you do it this way and just for future reference if you're trying to ever extrude mesh or anything like that and some settings seem really weird and it's not working right or it seems like it's not working right go ahead and click the little box here on the far right side that will give you the option let me go ahead and drag this over to change any type of settings you like we'll cover this as the semester goes on there's no way to cover everything in this software there's far too much to cover but we will cover modeling and animation in Maya this semester so for your submission, I'm just looking for this particular shape. It's a very basic model. It's a simple bookcase, no tricks or anything. And you can submit your Maya file, and that will be totally fine as your submission for this particular assignment. So go ahead, save your file, upload it to me, and I'll take a look at it for you. Now, if you have any questions, always be sure. You can always t uh, message me on Canvas or email, and you should be able to find all that information directly on the home page. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was helpful, and welcome to class.